starting off another vlog early in the morning. I love the early mornings when it kind of feels like nobody's really up yet. It is October 1st, so we are officially in the fall months. It's about 7.30 a.m. and I am walking to a workout class. It's Friday, of course, so really happy that the week is almost over. It's been a very busy one, a very late one since we are now in Q4, which is uh, in my industry the busiest time of the year, like actually crazy busy, like one day feels like one week. <laughs> it's nuts. So it's gonna be a super, super busy next couple months, but that's all right. I'm going to Pure Bar right now, which is like a bar class, and I really like it. The only thing is, is that it's all the way in Tribeca, and I live in Soho, so it's a bit of a walk, but honestly, it wakes me up in the morning, or whenever I'm doing it, and it's almost like a little warm up on the way to the actual workout, so that's nice. It's just actually really chilly. I should have worn a jacket a little bit heavier than this one, but that's okay, all right. All right, it's midway through the day now. It's about lunchtime. Cla workout class was great. Loved it, worked really hard, had a great sweat, came back, showered, hair and makeup. It's Friday. <laughs> but um, I'm actually having a professional cleaning service come to clean my apartment because since it's an older <laughs> building and an older apartment, there's just some like corners and just like little things that I'm like, this just needs a deep clean. Like, do you ever just like look at like your oven or like certain parts of your bathroom and I'm like, this just needs like a good professional clean. That is what I'm doing today and they're going to be here in about 30, 45 minutes. So I'm gonna run out the door, take out some cash for a tip and then I'm going to grab a quick lunch come back here and then just finish working. And I have never done this before, so I don't know how it works, but I'm just gonna be here while they're cleaning because I was like reading reviews and they said to like, I don't know, be here. Um, and I'm also really glad that they're coming now too because my mom and my auntie Lisa are going to be coming not this weekend, but the next weekend. And they're actually going to be staying here. They're going to be taking over my apartment and staying here while I go stay over at Lyle's. And we're gonna have a really nice weekend. They wanna come see New York, go to a Broadway show, you know, do the whole thing. So I'm really excited to see them and for them to come to the city that I love so much. So yeah, um, so I'm also like strategically planned this ahead of that. Not that my mom or my auntie Lisa are like a stickler about things being clean at all. I like, they're not, they're not like that at all. They're like the sweetest people ever. Um, but I'm just, I hold myself to high standards. So, um, this is something that I always wanted to do. And I feel like knowing that they're coming just gave me an excuse to just do it now. Yes. I'm going to run outside, grab a quick lunch and money, <laughs> then come back. so it's 6 p.m. I just finished up work, just closed my, down my laptop for the week, my favorite part of the week. And right now I am about to pay my bills <laughs> for the month because today is the first of the month. I have my rent due, I have my credit card payment due. And <laughs> so the way that I keep track of it is basically I have this squirrel calendar. It's like a physical calendar. Um, because I'm obsessed with squirrels and I just write down on the calendar the, on the day that the bill is due each month I write okay like first of the month I put a little check box and I write rent second of the month I have my chase credit card is due so I'll put a little box and a check mark 
and then like my con ed my student loans my cable bill anything else i just put it in a little box here i think everything else i have like just automatic but actually my con ed is automatic but i still put it on there so that i know that it's going to happen but oh okay i always like the excitement of a new month flipping over the calendar to look at the new squirrel <laughs> this month is this little red squirrel with these cute little pointy ears he looks like this so <laughs> very cute very fall appropriate <laughs> a really basic way of doing it just a very simple way of doing it but that's what works for me and that's what I've been doing for the last five or six years since I have been living here <laughs> also in addition to that the cleaning lady came and my whole apartment was just cleaned so I am just feeling like a lot of adulting is getting done today I'm paying my bills I just got my whole apartment cleaned. I did a workout this morning. I woke up early. I just finished a day of work. So, I mean, it's funny to say at this point, like, oh, I'm adulting because it's literally like I am an adult and this is actually just my life now. This is just what I do. But it makes me really happy now to just now go out on a Friday and just enjoy the night. If I'm gonna have a glass of wine, if I'm gonna go out to dinner, even if I just like stay in and watch Netflix and you know, just movies with Lyle, I can feel satisfied to actually relax now that I just like, you know, got all the hard stuff done. And I saw on somebody's Instagram stories, I think it was one of my friends that I met here on YouTube, she, you know, sometimes you see stuff on stories and you don't remember like who posted it or where exactly you saw it, but if I find it, I'll mention. But she posted this thing that said, eat the frog. And I don't really know what that's supposed to mean, but to me that meant do the hardest thing first. And I've been trying to get myself to do that this week because when I have like a list of to-do things, there's always that one big one that you're like, oh, I don't want to do it and putting it off and putting it off. And so I've just been trying to tell myself, like, eat the frog, do it now so that you can relax later and don't have to feel so bad. So anyways, all right, let me pay these bills. <laughs> and they do really good brunch and it's in the West Village so that's where we're heading and I've got a really cute little outfit on um, this is a little top from another stories that I showed in my like fall lookbook video and then this cute little tweed skirt from Zara and I love how the sleeve just like poke out of the end of the jacket so yes I can't wait I'm seeing my friends Mary Kendall and Monica who I think um, you guys have seen in my vlogs before so yeah, can't wait to see them. Bouvette so much. I got a Belgian waffle with some berries on it and it was so good. So right now I am walking to Lyle's 
and I think we're gonna go for a little bike ride. So yeah, should be fun. I put some um, shorts on so I can ride the bike, so I did a little quick change, and uh, yeah, just gonna have a nice day. It's like a beautiful day out. morning and I'm about to go meet my friend Amy for brunch at La Mercerie which is just down in Soho on basically on the way to Tribeca I don't know if it's officially in Soho or Tribeca but it's uh, about a 10 minute walk for me so I'm really excited to see her I think last time I saw her was over the summer we had a little picnic in Washington Square Park. We met on, I don't even, I think either YouTube or Instagram um, where she had just, you know, reached out and was like, I'd love to, you know, meet and we did and she was like one of the nicest people I have ever met. So I'm very excited to see her again. But yeah, so today is kind of Sunday. I'm going to do brunch and then after that I'm going to do my laundry because I'm not going to be able to do it next weekend when my mom is here. So I want to like, you know, just finish <laughs> making sure that everything is clean and we'll go over to Lyle's to do my laundry and probably edit my YouTube video while my laundry's in the washer and dryer. But that's kind of where things are. Last night was nice. We, um, I basically, <laughs> where did I leave off? Oh, so Lyle and I went for a bike ride, which was fun. Uh, we went pretty far. We went all the way up to like 30 something street and then we went kind of crossed over and then came down 2nd Avenue. And there's a bike path, like there's a bike, bike lane the whole way down. So it feels very safe. Although I have to say biking in the city is very scary, but it was fine. I just got a new e-bike from Van Moof and uh it's really it's really cool so i took rented a little city bike an electric city bike to be able to keep up with him although i am not very good at going fast so yes but um but it was fun nonetheless and it was nice to do something outside especially since the weather is so great right now and then after that we were kind of hungry so we stopped at this place called Veselka which is a very I'd say classic New York City place actually this is the place that Dan and Vanessa in Gossip Girl would always meet it's the place that does pierogies because if you watch one of the, like during some of the episodes on the different seasons Veselka is always like Dan and Vanessa's meetup place and then there's one like episode where Blair goes because she thinks she's not going to see anyone because it's like downtown and whatever <laughs> and and then she ends up seeing Dan so we went there it was nice their pierogies are very good and everything else on the menu is great so we did that came back and I was just kind of feeling like meh I didn't feel so good so I needed to make myself feel better and I just felt like in a mood where I just needed to feel kind of <laughs> like nice I guess so I bought myself these really really pretty flowers they're like roses but they almost have like a sharp edge where there's just feels like something a little bit special about them and then I got chocolate at this new place called the meadow 
Um, there, I think there's a couple locations in New York, but they just opened this one a couple weeks ago and they sell salt, chocolate, bitters, and flowers. And so I got some chocolate there that have all these kinds of specialty chocolates from all over the country, potentially all over the world, sourced um, from like independent chocolate makers. And they are so good. So, but anyways, I got that. And then we went out, we got drinks. We just, oh yeah, we went down and just had a slice of pizza. And then we got drinks with Lyle's friends, Billy and Chloe, and it was great to see them as well. So we sat outside, had a couple cocktails in uh, East Village area, and then just came back, watched Netflix, went to bed, and then now we're here. So I did my hair this morning with the Dyson Airwrap. I used the, um, the curling, the curling ones, and it actually came out very nice and voluminous, and I don't have any hair extensions in, so. I mean, look at that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I need to leave right now to go meet up with Amy on time, and we're gonna have a nice little brunch. Thank you. <laughs> We're at this place called La Mercerie, yeah. and it's really pretty inside. That we're doing the same thing together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Amy has a YouTube channel as well. <laughs> Wait, what's the, what's the name of your channel? Um, Chow Amy Chen. Chow Wait, Amy Chen. Sorry. Chow oh. Amy. Chow Amy. Okay. <laughs> you ordered the same thing. I know. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a good croissant, and this one looks especially flaky. Maybe at another time this week when it's less busy. Um, yeah, just gonna do laundry. 
So part of the reason why I was like, oh, I'm just gonna leave the Zara is because I remembered that I had a package delivered this morning from Zara. So I was like, I mean, I've already got some Zara stuff and I'm really excited about this. I ordered two skirts and I ordered them both in a small and a medium just in case they didn't fit because I want to make sure that I get the right size because they were that cute that I was like, I can't take any chances on this and then they sell out, you know? <laughs> Um, cause I feel like with Zara, sometimes their sizing is kind of inconsistent. Oh. Okay. Ah, they're just as cute as I was hoping. Okay. So first I got this. Oh, it looks like this is the size medium. This is the small. So it's technically a skirt. So it has these cute little buttons on the front and these little pockets on the side. And it's like that. So you can kind of see the shorts poking out in the bottom. So really cute, kind of similar to the skirt that I wore yesterday to brunch in pink that looks like this but this one actually has a belt and it's pink versus this one has just two buttons here and it's more of a white but they're both like that tweed material the other one is a, like a leather skirt and it's brown and it has these pleats oh okay this is also so stinking cute look at it oh really 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 cute I'm very excited about this it's a little bit of a darker brown in person than I was thinking I thought that maybe it would be a little bit more of an orangey brown kind of like my Cezanne shorts that I've been wearing a lot but that's okay I'm gonna try these on real quick all right so this is skirt number one and I really really like this it's like I feel like it gives a small little waist the only thing is I'm wondering why it's kind of like the shorts are poking out on the bottom like that like it's a little bit different that you can see that but also I feel like it's kind of a style too at the same time so I don't know but yeah I think it's really cute there's no shorts in the back it just looks like a skirt but there's shorts underneath so even though it's like super super short you know you're covered like if you're going up the stairs you don't have to worry about like you know someone seeing anything like you're actually covered so I think that's cute this is the size small like it feels nice but it's just a little bit tight I don't know if that's because I just ate but I'm gonna try on the medium to see which one I like better all right so here's the medium I feel like it's a little bit more comfortable like you know I can wear it and I feel totally comfortable you can still see the shorts a little bit but not as much I don't know I feel like it's fine um, let me know what you guys think, if you think that one of them looks better, but I think I'm going to wait and try them on again tomorrow morning when I haven't just eaten and see, because I'm worried that the medium might be too big just when I'm like, you know, feeling normal. Alright, so let's try on the next one. Ah, okay, I am also obsessed with this one. The only thing is the pleat here is a little bit messed up. I feel like I need to like put that on like a some books or something to like get it to be fixed but oh my gosh it's so 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 cute I can't be believe that I found these two skirts like I honestly am like I think these are both going to be like my two favorite skirts for fall now because I saw that um, Zara had made like a pleated leather skirt but then for this year's version they updated it as like a tiered and I think that it is so much nicer I mean they're both nice but I love that and I love this circle buckle here I don't know if you can see it but I feel like it's just a little bit different than like a typical kind of square button but I do love that in both of these scenarios what they did was they used the same exact fabric as the actual garment to make the belt rather than having the belt to be like a separate piece I just love that it's like kind of unified as all one thing and like so like the belt here is like everything is also leather um, just with the you know gold hardware actually in both of these situations but oh, I love a good mini skirt so here it is here's the side and this um front pleat actually is just right here so on the side and on the back there's not a double pleat but that's okay I think it's cute on the front so this is the small I'm just gonna try on the medium see how I feel if it's a little bit better all right so here is the brown skirt in the medium and I also really like it I think I'm gonna go with the small on this one because 
I think it just looks a little bit too big, kind of a little bit, just, just a tad too much fabric over here, but regardless, it is a super cute skirt, and I just love it. I feel like something like this is just such a go-to for fall and winter, and I can see myself probably wearing these over and over again. I think I'm just so, so excited to find these. And it just goes to show that like a classic, you know, neutral colored turtleneck like this just does go with everything. It's important and great to get. This one I got from ASOS, I think two years ago, and it's just ribbed like this and the actual turtleneck piece is like this and I just folded it down once. So very kind of classic and the color is like a kind of like a very beige neutral tone. So it just pairs nicely with anything. I have one just like this and it's more of a bright white like this, but I just feel like that color white is too stark of a contrast between that and a dark skirt like this. So that's why I feel like just an off white is perfect. So <laughs> yay. Okay, now I actually need to get back to doing my laundry now. So I'm gonna sort through my laundry, take off my sheets from my bed and get down to business. <laughs> and put away and I did my grocery shopping so that's done now I am just and I finished while I was doing my laundry earlier I finished editing my YouTube video and now right now it is just finishing uploading but <laughs> I'm not done done because I still have this whole to-do list of things that I need to get done so I just crossed off grocery shopping I was going to make a soup recipe for dinner, but I ended up eating leftovers from Friday night, my pasta from Emporio, because I was really hungry and I wanted to eat before I went to the grocery store because it's not good to go grocery shopping hungry because you'll buy everything. So I'll make that tomorrow night and have it for dinner this week. French homework. So this is my workbook for my French classes and I actually have homework. <laughs> so if I didn't already mention it, the class that I'm taking is like the intro class before the beginner level one French and it's all about pronunciation. So before you start taking like classes, learning about grammar, learning what different words mean, it actually goes through how to pronounce everything and just some interesting facts. So, for example, there's about 120 million people who speak French around the world. French is a Romance language, of course. And French is the only other language outside of English to be spoken on all seven continents, which they showed us in this little map here. And apparently, learning French as a new language is about 20% grammar and the rest of the 80% is vocabulary memorization. So sounds like a lot, but it also says that about 30% of French words are used in English. So there is some overlap. So I'm glad about that. But for the words that there are an overlap, the emphasis for the pronunciation is just on a different part of the word. Like we say question and they say question. <laughs> like they don't say the N. And um, that was a big thing that we learned too, was just about the consonants at the end of a word. So like, in most cases, if the, if the word ends in a consonant, you don't pronounce it, unless it's the letters C, R, F, or L. I feel like I'm giving you my whole first lesson, but 
yeah, we basically did that and we learned some dialogue. So my pronunciation is still not very good. I've only had one class, but I'm really excited to learn. So now that it's Sunday night, the classes are once a week on Mondays. So tomorrow we'll be going back. I have, he said about 10 minutes of an exercise to fill out. So I'm going to do that and just go back through everything we learned, repronounce things, sit here by myself, with no one else around practicing the pronunciation. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to just like learn again. I forget how much I actually really enjoy learning and I feel like it's one of those things that it doesn't have to stop with college, you know, high school, any of that. You almost, I feel like we as adults make this mistake where you think that your learning years are your younger years when it's really doesn't have to be the case. And I feel like it's so great to like, almost hold yourself accountable to continue learning throughout your life. And I mean, obviously you're like, just learn throughout your life, but like actually consciously like picking a topic and diving deep into it. I feel like it's just something that I want to carry throughout my whole life. And I'm only 28 turning 29 next month in November so I still have a good like I don't know if I'm lucky like many many years and if I start French now only at 28 I could be fluent like if I really stuck with it at some point in my life which is just like that sounds so awesome to me so I just just am saying like I chose French because that's something that I really want to accomplish, but if there's anything that you are like really wanting to like learn and dive into, I feel like just find a way to get into it and make it make it happen if you know. And I I'm for one I'm also like my biggest like hurdle or reason why I was like, no, I can't do that is because I thought that I didn't have time because I have a very demanding full-time job outside of my full-time job. I'm putting out two YouTube videos a week, running my Instagram. When I'm not doing that, I'm with my boyfriend, which is also a whole other thing of time, finding time to see my friends and then finding time to do all of my like chores and everything else. So, but like, I don't know, it's all relative and I feel like you can just sneak it in there and like I don't know I feel like the more the more I have to do on my plate the more efficient I am so it all just comes together but anyways I'm really excited for the class I really liked the first one it was like eight other people who were just like me it's like they're doing it because they want to they're not doing it in a class because they feel like they have to be there it's like everyone is there by choice and we're all paying to be there so clearly you know we want to so it's all just other people who are also just as excited as me and that's another reason why I wanted to take it in person was not only just because it's easier to learn in person with an actual teacher rather than online but also just because like I'm like feel like I'm surrounded by other people in the class who also really love French culture and want to learn more so all right, end of my little ramble. I think I've been talking for seven minutes, so I'm going to stop procrastinating and do my homework, and I will check in with you guys after. All right, so at this time of night now, it's past midnight. I just finished up with my, not my full to-do list, but everything I'm going to get done on my to-do list. I actually do feel really accomplished, and although I didn't, finish my whole to-do list. The to-do list was a little bit ambitious <laughs> and there's no way I was going to get all of that done, but I am really proud of myself for focusing. My French homework went well and I'm excited for class tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I've got work tomorrow, so I'm just gonna do my skincare routine, take my makeup off and everything and go to bed. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, of course, and check out the Fashion Squirrel over on Instagram. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.